a lot of things going on in your armpit mm -hmm. <laughs> that you need to pay attention to. And we're about to talk about one more warning sign. You just simply can't ignore it. It can literally let your body know if you're at high risk for kidney failure, heart disease, even blindness. Do I have your attention? Well, I'm glad because this is something that if you see this, you got to get it checked out. What are we talking about here? Well, basically, too much insulin will cause your skin cells to overstimulate and overgrow. And you can get this hyperpigmentation, this darkening under the arm, and it can be a sign of something really bad. We know that basically our body, our insulin actually works to control our blood sugar, our blood glucose levels, and in diabetics, it basically is too high. And mm -hmm. so you're dealing with this, what's called acanthosis nigricans, which is this rash, and you can see it under the armpit in the uh, neck, in the groin. This is one of the top signs we look for in kids that are at risk for developing diabetes, that darkness under the arms or in the neck. I, I, it kind of looks like elephant skin, and that's kind of how I describe it to the kids. Yeah. And it could also be a sign of other endocrine disorders. Right. As, as well as other skin conditions. I mean, it can be allergic mm -hmm. or contact dermatitis. It can just be pigmentation, keratosis. It could be uh, irritation of the sweat glands in the armpit. But as you alluded to, since it can be part of the picture of diabetes, that's why anybody with this type of pigmentation in the armpits needs to go in and have it checked because we know so many people are developing diabetes in this country. This may be one of the first signs that you see. Right, and, and it yeah. really is a velvety, you said elephant skin, but it's really that kind of velvety, thickened skin. It's not just pigment like you would see after right. a rash going away, things like that, because right. darker it's skin can leave a brown pigment, right. but it is a texture to it. And, and if people look at this still image, you know, this isn't something that just shows up overnight. Mm -hmm. This is evolving over time, and that's why you have to pay right. attention, because if you're not paying attention, you may sort of notice it slowly getting there. Oh, that's just my, the way my armpit looks. But if this develops slowly over time, you mentioned it can also be a sign of polycystic, polycystic ovarian syndrome, ovary, yes, exactly. thyroid issues, Cushing Obesity syndrome. Obesity in general. Cushing in general syndrome. Goals. Cushing syndrome, yeah. So, See your doc and, and, and yes. make sure you don't suffer from one of these endocrine problems. Dr. Ablon, thank you, as always, for coming on the show and helping us out.